how to manifest business success in 10 easy steps. Today, you will discover the 10 essential steps to manifesting business success. And you can actually apply these principles to any area of your life, but I am just going to focus on business with my examples. So welcome to the Manifest Business Success Challenge. During each day of the challenge, we are going to go deeper into each step of the steps to manifestation. And if you haven't already joined the challenge, sign up for the complete videos, daily email reminders and workbooks at manifestbusinesssuccess.com. So in this challenge, I am going to take you through the 10 steps of manifestation and how they can be applied to business. So what are the steps? Step one is peace, how to prepare for manifesting. Two, step two is decide, how to decide what to manifest for your dream business. Step three is intend, how to use the power of intention to claim your desires super fast. Step four is clarity, how to use a process called scripting for success in your business to manifest quickly. Step number five is believe, how to believe in your manifestation, 10 steps to a new belief system. Step six is detach, four things that can block your manifestation and you can do the things that I suggest instead if you are feeling blocked. Step number seven is trust, why your manifestation is not working and there is a simple mistake to avoid. Step number eight is act inspired action versus regular action and the dangers of waiting for inspiration. Step number nine is uplift. So how to use gratitude to get what you want in money, in business, in life, in whatever area you want, but I am going to be focusing on business. And step number 10 is to finally receive your manifestation, how to manifest success by increasing your self-belief. So I hope you are excited about all of that. My name is Kath Kyle and I help content creators and change makers manifest business success through spirituality, self-belief and strategy. And I help you master your marketing, manifestation and money mindset. So I am just curious, are you currently struggling to grow your business or perhaps you are actually just too scared to start a business in the first place? Do you feel like you are holding yourself back from reaching your full potential in business or are you thinking of starting a business but you just need some guidance first? And I would really love to hear from you. So let me know what you are struggling with when it comes to starting or growing a business. And you can either leave me a comment on my blog or my YouTube channel, or you can send me a DM on Instagram. I love to hear from you. So do you want to feel more confident that you are actually going to be successful? Do you want to enjoy the process of growing your business? Do you want to stop worrying about the money that your business generates? Do you want to supercharge your business with the law of attraction? And if you do, you're in the right place. So let me give you an overview of the 10 steps to manifest business success. Let's start with step one, which is peace. So here is the step. This is what you need to do to prepare for manifesting. So before you start manifesting, you need to feel peaceful. To receive the intuition that's right for you, you have to be vibrating at the right frequency, which means you need to be at a certain emotional level to manifest what it is that you want. In other words, if you want to manifest something happy into your life, you need to be in a general state of happiness because the law of attraction actually works all the time, believe it or not. We are constantly manifesting. We're all manifestors. That is just how the universe works. But what we actually want to do is we actually want to 
purposefully manifest something positive rather than something negative because by default most of us do manifest negative things in our life it's just the way we've been brought up it's just the way society is currently set up so in order to change from the negative to the positive and actually manifest the positive things into our lives we have to first get into the positive vibration and to do this we just have to simply do something that makes us happy and I have got a cool process to share with you. My concept is called the happy habit hobby date and that might sound like a mouthful and believe me it is a a mouthful (laughs) and the reason why I've called this process the happy habit hobby date is because um, it is something that makes you happy. It's a habit because you do it every single day it's a hobby so it's something that you do on your own regardless of who joins you or not because it's your hobby and it's a date that you set with yourself that you don't want to break so by doing this you get into the right frequency and this is actually a principle that is taken from my dream business framework and I go over this in my Dream Business Blueprint course, but I'm just going to give you the basics now so you can start to use this principle. But basically, what it boils down to is doing something every day that makes you happy. So let's move on to step number two. This is where you actually decide what you want. You have to know what it is that you actually desire. And if you don't know what you want, how are you ever going to get it? So your core desires are things that you would like to see happen at some point in your life so that you can feel fulfilled with your life. And I am going to show you how to discover your core desires. Because the funny thing is that a lot of people end up with desires that don't even belong to them. They think it's what they want, but really it came from their parents or their teachers or society and people telling them, you need to get this type of job, you need to go and study for exams, you need to get this qualification, you need to become this kind of person, you need to follow this path. And really that that might not have been what they chose for themselves. So this is about actually discovering what it is that you want. And you might actually right now be feeling some resistance even thinking about your desires, but I'm going to show you how to remove the resistance in these 10 steps. So the core desires and actually deciding what you want is a concept that I go deep into my in my stamp goals book because you can't set goals unless you know what your desires are. So let's move on now to step number three which is intend. So once you are clear on your core desires now it is time to clearly intend that your desires will be manifested and when you intend that something is going to happen you hold yourself accountable to taking action to actually make it happen. And this is why intention is so powerful. Because when you set a goal, you can picture the goal outside of yourself and sometimes or a lot of the time it's out of your control. But when you make an intention, something shifts in your mindset and magic starts to happen. And a way to solidify the process is to create a business intentions list with a list of things that you actually intend to happen in the future. And a lot of people allow their disbelief to get in the way at this point. But after you've gone through all 10 steps, you'll understand how to overcome any resistance you have. So step number four is clarity. If you don't get clear on exactly what you want, you won't be able to take any inspired action that actually gets you results. And when the universe knows exactly what you want and you know exactly what you want, you are aligned and open to complete manifestation of your desires. Getting clear on the details helps you think about, visualize and daydream about your desires, which makes them much more likely to happen. And I have a process in my dream business blueprint called the genius mind creation ritual that brings complete clarity to your desires. But I'm going to teach you a much more simple concept during these 10 steps, which takes an element of the genius mind creation ritual. 
and it's still very powerful and I teach you a way to write down the details of your desires that makes them much more likely to manifest for me. So step number five is to believe. So believing you can have what you desire is absolutely crucial. In step number six, we are going to get rid of the disbelief, but in this step, we need to make sure that we believe wholeheartedly in our desires. The law of attraction makes your belief system a reality in your life, and it's critical to adopt a positive belief system, or you'll end up with what you currently have and what you currently believe. And I use something called brain stamps to change my own belief system. And I write down a belief system that I want to adopt and I repeat it over and over again using my own voice, my own writing, my own reading, and I listened to my belief system over and over again. And this is what changes your belief system. Step number six is to detach. Now this is the process of completely letting go of disbelief. This step is absolutely crucial. If you are holding on to beliefs which go against your desires, you are never going to get what you want. And I have a full five step process to help you reject disbelief. And you can follow this same process every time you have doubts or insecurities and it will never let you down. Step number seven is trust. Even when you've created a new belief system and you think you've rejected the old belief system, it's still really easy to lose faith and give up on your desires. And this is why you need to build a really strong trust muscle so you can keep drawing on this strength to keep you consistent in your business. And I have a series of steps to help you shift your mindset and build your trust muscle so it's rock solid and unshakable. Step number eight is act. When it comes to business, a key part of the manifestation process is actually taking action. The whole concept of a business is an equal exchange of value between two people. You provide something to someone else and then they give you money for it. And without action, this process will not work. So action is absolutely crucial and cannot be skipped. Taking some action is better than taking no action, but taking inspired action is where the real results start happening. And I have a process called the ask process that helps you get clear on what inspired action you should be taking. And you will know when you are taking inspired action as it just feels like exactly the right thing to do. And it is very diff difficult not to take the action when it's inspired and this is actually something a lot of people get wrong so I can't wait to clear up some misconceptions when it comes to inspired action. So step number nine is to uplift. For you to be able to manifest anything you have to be content with what you currently have. If you are in a state of lack complaining about what you have and always wishing it was different you'll never be able to manifest anything different. You have to get into a higher vibration and feel content most of the time to attract more positive things in your own life. And the ha happy habit hobby date is one of the processes that starts this process of getting into the higher vibration. But at this stage, we are going to take it one step further and focus on feeling happy most of the day. And one of the fastest ways to vibrate at a higher frequency is to feel grateful. And because it is impossible to feel feelings of lack and appreciation at the same time. So this is why it's so powerful. And this is a quote I really love. Appreciate to uplift your state. Appreciate to uplift your state. I came up with that and I think it's got a really good ring to it. And then step number 10 is to receive. So if you've gone through all of the 10 steps, you are now ready to receive your manifestation. This is an often unlooked step of the manifestation process. To receive, you have to be the person who would receive this kind of result. If you never see yourself as the kind of person to receive your desires, 
you will never get them. You need to see yourself as perfect, like perfectly good enough. You are enough. You have everything you need to become the kind of person who has success. Self-belief is everything when it comes to success. And I have a concept which I am going to share with you in this lesson called the perfect character bio, where I walk you through becoming the person who gets to have everything you desire. So I can't wait to share this with you. So to get all 10 steps in the manifestation process, make sure you join my free manifest business success challenge if you haven't already. So you can get that at manifestbusinesssuccess.com or you can click the link around this content and join the challenge while it is still free because I am in the process of turning this content into a book. And while you're waiting for the next step in the manifestation process, you can start taking practical action in your business today. You can get my free lesson where I walk you through my complete process of creating content that converts. This is part of my premium course called Dream Business Blueprint and I'm only making this lesson free for a limited time because I'm testing different lessons to see which one works the best. So grab this while it is still available. Go to manifestbusinesssuccess.com to get yours. So next time I am going to go deep into step one, which is walking you through the process of preparing for your manifestation by getting you into the correct vibration. So make sure you subscribe and follow me so you don't miss that. And until then, go and put your stamp on the world.